Now let's say, for example, that I'm dealing with you know people who are not IT guys. They're never you know they the, the doctor. The doctor came up to me and said, "Oh hey, uh, what's the most common reasons for people uh, to you know come visit? Uh, that way I can kind of gear things and you know buy proper supplies." Well. Okay, here's the problem. Uh, he doesn't know how to use Access. He went to med school, and it's been years since he had to take CIS 110. So, what can I do? Well, I can use the Create tab again, and instead of going into my Form, Query, or Tables, I can go to my Reports section, and I can actually go to my Reports Wizard. And, as you can see, I can get a number of different options. Instead of uh, just my tables, I can also go with my queries. For example, common reason for visits. And I'll just go ahead and add them both and just see what happens. We hit finish. You see, I've now got an entire printout sort of readily available for my doctor guy uh, to, my doctor guy could clearly be a woman, my doctor gal, uh, to see this stuff. And it's already organized and this is ready to print. I can click over here and guess what? I can do a print statement on this. Now, again, I closed out of that. I don't want to really deal with this nonsense, but let's say we want to make a little bit more complex one. I'm going to come over to my Create tab. I'm going to go to Report Wizard. This time I'm going to select my Invoice Table. And I'm going to select everything from my Invoice Table. Now. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on Next because it asks, how do I want to group things? Well, I can group things because I had that visit ID, remember, I can group by it or I can uh, choose any other kind of way I want. I, I do want it to stay this way and I'll go ahead and hit Next. How do I want it to be presented? What do I want to be my uh, order? I'm going to say I want it in ascending order of my dates. You know. Makes perfect sense. We click on next. How do we wish to have my form viewed? I can say stepped, and we hear we get a little sneak preview of it. Uh, here's block, and here's outline. Now I'm going to say uh, go with stepped because that's what's asked on Sam. And I'm going to go ahead and hit next invoices uh, report. We hit finish, and you see now I get exactly that. I can see when a particular report was done. Now if you look at it, it looks kind of eh, it's getting cut off over there, so I, I can clean this up. First I have to close out of my print preview, and again, I don't want to do it over here. This is uh, a little more than what we need to do for this class, so I'm going to just switch my view. You can see we get the nice little report view, but I'm going to switch it to my layout view. Layout view is exactly what we were doing in tutorial one. This allows for me to reorganize my data. So visit ID, for example, doesn't really need to take up that much space. It's only four characters long. So I can come in here and shrink that down to about there. My invoice date. My invoice date, well, I'm going to first expand it over this way and then shrink it over this way. And if you accidentally shrink it too much, it will look like that. The pound symbol for kind of Microsoft Office is just to tell you you're dealing with numbers and you don't have enough space on the screen. I'm going to move my invoice dates. I do have to do both of them. I know it sucks, but I do have to do both of them. I'm going to move my invoice number as well. And if I want a quick cheat, I can hold down my control key and select multiple things. Notice I have these both selected and I can resize both of them at the same time. That's pretty nice. So do the exact same thing with my invoice amount right about there invoice item boom boom and you know that walk-in information that's some information that I do need I'm trying to see uh, let's see where would it be aha mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes that's page one of one uh. Let's see. I'm trying to find out where my walk-in page setup. Uh, let's see. Where would you be? Landscape? I don't know. I guess it's not even showing it. All right. Well, that's perfectly fine. That's not going to be the end of the world uh, for us uh, on our end. Uh, you know, you'll be fine without it. Don't worry about that. You can see now I've got this all 
build out as one. And if I want to continue to dull things up a little bit, what I can do is I can change my theme, for example, and go through all the same themes that we've been dealing with inside of all of our Office products. So I'll just go ahead and select Office, or I'll select uh, Integral. Ah, and look at that. Now it looks nice and clean, and I can kind of work from there. 